Okay, so moving on, still calculating a z-score and trying to work with it. So uh, we've got a new situation here where we have a reading test, and the mean is 80. So again, if I'm tracking uh, the mean and standard deviation, I've got a mean of 80, okay? And the standard deviation is 8. Now, my specific situation asks for the number of students that will score above a 90%. So my X value is nine, or sorry, above a ninety, not necessarily ninety percent. And so um, it's saying if two, if uh, ten thousand students take the test, find each of these. So we're going to have to find the percentage in general, and then we've got to take that percentage out of a of ten thousand. So the thing we got to pay attention to is that this now says above ninety. Whereas if you look at part A from before, that was less than 600. So that is the default situation. When it's less than, when it's greater than or above, that is not the default situation. So I still want to calculate it like normal. But my calculation here, where you do 90 minus 80 all over the standard deviation, again, this formula up here, is going to give you that z-score of 1.25. So I screenshotted the table, and that gave us this percentage right there. But that 89% is referencing this picture of 89% this way. Okay, so that's the default. But I am interested in the red section right there. So again, that blue section is the 89.44%. So if I want the red section, I have to do one minus the blue, and I'll change this color so it's kind of consistent there, 89.44, to give you that final answer of just 10% um, or 0 0.1056. Uh, so that's the actual percentage is 10.56%, but then you want to know what is that 10% of 10,000? So you have to multiply it at the end uh, to get 1,056 students. Uh, again, in the previous question, we stopped right there. So the follow-up to that is then, okay, if you have to take and find the percentage out of that actual number, that's what you want to do. Um, that's what that extra, this last step is right here. Okay. Um, similar situation where uh, it's saying the number of the students will score between uh, 78 and 88. So anytime you have a between situation, that's again like this picture up here. So if I was going to draw a curve for you, you want to have, sorry, that's getting really cluttered here. Uh, if the mean was 80, 78 would be on the left side and 88 would be on the right side. And again, you're trying to find this situation there. So this first scenario in purple, right here, that is 88. And so when I go to my um, table, I got a z-score of 1. So that gave me a percentage of 84%. And so that represents the entire thing to the left, the entire area to the left of 88. Sorry that I keep saying thing. Um, I'll try to be more specific. But the entire area to the left of 88 but I want from 88 to 78. So I have to subtract off that little white part on the left side of 78. So when I do the same exact uh, calculation in red, I wanna subtract that off, okay? So when I uh, subtract it, I get a negative 0.25, which is this situation right here. And so I will subtract off uh, the red from that 84% giving me that 0.44 right there, okay? But again, that's where the previous two questions stopped. They just wanted the percentages, okay? But now we want to have how many out of 10,000, so we have to multiply that by 10,000 to get uh, 4,400 4, students. Okay. Um, now this one... Uh, just kind of big curveball part C, uh, the percentile of a student who scores a 94. So again, uh, the actual, we did on a previous uh, assignment where you had to find the percentile 
Uh, and that was a little bit more complicated than this, in my opinion. This is a little bit more straightforward, where it's just that your x value is 94, your mean was 80, and your standard deviation is 8. And so that gives you that z-score of 1.75. And screenshotting the table there, seeing that that gives you a 95 percentage, or 90, basically 96 when you round up. Um, and so they are in the 96th percentile. Um, again, that's a lot easier to do than, in my opinion, and then the question that we did the other day.